like always, you're teetering on three random objects. So hopefully you stay, we'll find out. <laughs> All right, guys, so welcome back to my couch where I rant about my life and I talk about epiphanies and all kinds of random things that just happen to have in my head that I need to get out so I can say them and keep myself accountable to whatever I'm saying, pretty much. I need to get off stress. But today is more of an epiphany talk rather than an angry mom rant. So today is more of like an apology, I guess, to my great aunt Joan. Sorry, Aunt Joan, I'm a bad person, I know. So growing up, she was one of these moms who had a separate living room that was covered in plastic that we weren't allowed to go into. Yes, it was the 80s because I'm old, give me back, but there were plastic everywhere. And as kids, we weren't allowed to go into that room. And we never couldn't really understand why, because we're like, it's a perfectly good room, why can't we go in the room? It's just a room. There's nothing special about the room, it's just a freaking room. Come to think about it, now that I have my own children, I can now see her perspective and realize it's because she didn't want to clean up again. She wanted one room where she didn't have to worry about putting her hand down and getting in peanut butter or fruit snacks. What's what would happen to me today? Because I don't know, we have peanut butter today. Different rant. Anyways, so she just wanted one room that she didn't have to worry about cleaning up all the time. And so when her friends came over, she'd have a place that they could sit and not have to worry about us kids making the mess. So that made me think about it. I'm like, well, I just didn't get her perspective until now. As a kid, I couldn't understand. It just didn't make any sense. But as a parent myself, it makes sense. I get it. I wanted to have two beds with two living rooms, but I wasn't smart enough at the time to buy a house with two living rooms because I just couldn't see her perspective until I actually had kids and we bought the house before we had kids. But now I'm thinking, well, why are my kids having all these toys on the ground anyways? At least me, I go down the rabbit holes. Just stay bear with me for one minute. Why do my kids have all these toys on the ground? You know, like, why do they have to have everything on at once? And I'm like, you know what? Same thing. I can't see it from their perspective. I don't realize that they're creating a whole city and they need all these objects to become the city or whatever. I'm just making something up at this point. So, and then I should also take a step back and be thankful as a parent that they're not on their tablets, they're not glued to the TV, they're actually playing with the toys that I paid for, thank goodness, because, you know, I usually just pay with boxes, but now they're ringing. So, then that got me thinking again that I am a bad person. I, I tend to judge people. I, 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 not that I'm a horrible person, I'm not, I'm not that bad. But like, you know, I just judge. Like, I'm like, why, why, why would you do that? Why would you, like, doesn't make any sense. Well, it doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't mean that it doesn't make sense to them and what's going on in their life and their world. So I'm gonna take this as an opportunity to learn not to be so quick to not judge, because I'm always gonna judge, because that's just who I am. That's, that's, that's human nature. But I'm going to not like hold them accountable to my judgment just because I think it's wrong doesn't mean that it's wrong. It just means maybe I'm not seeing their perspective. I'm not seeing the whole story. Cause like, I can't know it cause I'm only me and I can't see or feel another person's perspective. Sometimes as we grow up, we gain those knowledges and we gain the information. But in the case of my kids, I can't go back. I can't understand what they're freaking thinking when they have like I Legos and Play-Doh at the same time. Like the Anyways, those things don't go together in my brain, but that doesn't mean that they don't go to bed together in their brain. So, even with adults, I need to stop and just say, maybe I'm not getting the whole story. Maybe I'm not understanding the whole concept. And then maybe if I do that, I can take a step back and put myself in other people's shoes and try to figure it out. So now I have to figure out why you need Legos and Play-Doh. That was going to be a hard one, but maybe I'll figure it out one day. So that was my perspective today. It's not really a rant. It's more of just a journey down the rabbit hole. Because I tend to do those too. Because I'm an overthinker. But I think, I judge. I know I'm a bad person. Apparently I'm bougie. I don't even know what that means really. But apparently I'm bougie. I don't see myself as a bougie person. But once again, that's how people see me sometimes. And I, I am a coffee snob. So maybe that's where it's coming from. But, um, yeah, I just don't see myself as a bougie person. But that doesn't mean that I'm not. It just means that I'm bougie for them from what they see me as. So, 
I just have to kind of take it into the ocean. Say, I guess it's a good thing. I guess it makes me who I am. All right. Well, thank you for joining me on my rant. If you made it this far, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. And if you want to hear more rants or journey down the rabbit holes or whatever you want to call these things I'm doing, um, subscribe. Maybe turn the bell on so you can tell I'm doing something new. If you know someone who would enjoy this rant or this rabbit hole or whatever we're going to call them, if you know what to call them, let me know too. And if, oh, side note, if you know how to get um, glue, dry glue out of carpet, I would still need to know. I can't see it, but it's just like crunchy. So I'm trying to, trying to fix that. So if you know how to fix that, let, comment down below. Um, but yeah, if you know someone who enjoys this type of video or this type of rant, just to know they're not alone, um, give it over to them, let them see it, share it, please. Thanks.